In this video, I want to show you how to manually add a student into your Google Classroom. There are a couple of different ways to do this. I'll show you two today. Um, the first way is to manually type in the student's username. So if you get a new student in your classroom and you're not syncing with your Aries grade book, this is the way that you would do it. You head up here to the People tab. This will show you a list of all the teachers and all the students for this class. And down here in the students area, if you'd like to add a new student, you just go over to this invite student button, press that, and then you will type in the student's email address. Uh, remember, this is their account that ends with at redlandschools.net. Um, if you're not sure exactly what their email address is, you can look that up in Aries. Once you grab that, type it in here, then click the invite button. And the next time the student pulls up Google Classroom, they will see a new tile with your class there with a question that says, do you want to join this? All they have to do is click the join button and then they are in as an active student. The other way is to allow students to opt into the classroom themselves, and they would do this by uh, typing in a class code. Every Google Classroom has a unique class code that can be used to get students into that class. So let me show you how to do that. For this, we're going to go back over to the stream tab, and you'll notice up here next to the class name that right below it, there is a little class code over here. So if you've got 30 students that you want to get into your class right now, the most efficient way to do that is to give all 30 of those students the class code, let them type it in so that they can join rather than manually typing in all of those students' usernames. So what you're going to do is go over here to this class code, and that's what you want to distribute to your students. You've got a couple of different ways to do this. One is you can click this little display button, and that will make it nice and large. So you could project this up on a classroom projector. You could have everybody open up their uh, devices, navigate to classroom.google.com, go to that little plus button in the upper right-hand corner to add a classroom, and this is the class code they would type in. If instead you want to send this class code uh, home to parents to maybe have parents help students get into that, you've got a couple of options. You can copy and paste from right over here, but some of your other uh, tools that you can utilize are if you go over here to the settings gear in the upper right hand corner and click that, there is this whole place down here that has class code options for you. So right here, if you click this drop down, it'll show you first of all what your class code is, but it gives you the ability to display this, to copy it, to disable it if you don't want any new students to get in there and also to reset it. So if you've got a class code that's using like, for instance, a lowercase L and you are concerned that uh, users won't know if that's a capital I or a lowercase L, you can always reset it to get a new combination of letters and numbers. I hope that helps.